por ahí venía. My name is Rubina. Uh, I'm married. I have uh, three children. In addition to being uh, a non-executive director at MCA, I'm also a professor of psychosocial medicine and medical education at the University of Manchester Medical School. So what drives me particularly into health and care related roles is uh, the caring and compassionate environment, the compassionate leadership that underpins that, the, the opportunity and the privilege to serve our patients, our carers, our families, our, our colleagues, uh, the, the people that we support and work within the wider community. I would like to think that my own behaviour and the values that underpin that behaviour, the caring and the compassionate and the kindness, are values that are expressed by me. And I'd like, I, I would hope that people who interact with me and I interact with go away with that sort of feeling, that they felt I listened to them, um, I showed interest in them, I gave them feedback, they asked me a question and wanted a response, and that I was able to enable them in, in, in some way. In terms of uh, Vision 10, it's really important that we understand what lies at the heart of that. So that is uh, saving lives, improving lives. And within that whole context, it is about demonstrating compassion and, and caring and kindness, validating the lived, ex lived experience of our colleagues, of our patients, of the carers and families that we support, understanding that we work within a governance context and making sure that the care we provide is safe, it, it is robust in delivery uh, in terms of how it is experienced and how it is, it is presented, and that the environment in which we all work and we, we care for each other and our members of our community is lives those values, lives and breathes them so that people who we interact with, irrespective of who they are, go away with the feeling that, yes, I feel careful, I feel valued, I feel I was listened to, I feel I was heard. The outcome of my experience in the, in the NCA, irrespective of where they are in the NCA, is one that is always positive and illustrative of what Vision 10 is there to capture and demonstrate. Well, it's our responsibility as board members to make sure that we look after our colleagues, those who work for us at every single level of the organisation, irrespective of where they are, they have, a, uh, they have a, a role to play and they contribute to that lived experience of our patients and carers that we look after and the communities that we serve. That has to be done within the context of regulation, uh, in the context of making sure that people understand that they are looked after within the legal framework, within the governance framework, uh, making sure that funding and funding flows and how we, we support um, all of our services are structured uh, appropriately, that we that we address uh, opportunities and we are innovative and creative, that we work through an evidence base that helps us to make evidence-based decisions, that we understand that what we are doing and we can only do that if we listen to our colleagues who, who work with us and we must also work for them. But overall, everyone collectively who is part of the NCA is there to serve the community. Our priorities are aboard at the moment uh, are absolutely about our people. So what does that mean? To make sure that our people, our colleagues, um, our, the people who experience our services uh, are, are supported, are, are looked after, are engaged with, that they recognise that decisions we make, we make on their behalf because we have taken them into account. Those priorities are, are, are front and centre about our people. Our people are our colleagues, our patients, the carers, the families, the communities that we serve and work for are key stakeholders because we don't work in isolation. It isn't just about who works in a building, it's about who works across different care pathways, whether that be uh, social care, wider health care, our voluntary organisations. So actually, um, the board has a very wide lens and it has a wide lens because it needs to absolutely be clear about what is our requirement as an NCA and how we need to work in partnership and in collaboration with other key partners. I'd like to, to leave this organisation at whatever time I do that we are on a journey. We, we are there, we have addressed uh, you know, the, the really important 
themes that underpin you know, saving lives and improving lives, and that's about addressing the wider determinants of health. Those things that um, our patients and families come into hospital for, but because we haven't addressed them within the community around educa education, um, housing, um, whether people are in work or out of work, and do we support them back into work early? All of those things matter. That means having that wider lens. Another thing I would like very much to have happened is that people, people in NCA, our people feel that they are valued, that their voices is, is very much heard, that we are responsive to that voice, and that we are inclusive in the manner in which we, in which we listen. So partnership, and collaboration as, as outputs and improve patient outcomes and service, out, service use outcomes and care outcomes. If they tell us through our, our surveys and they give feedback to us and our colleagues importantly give feedback, they feel refreshed and aligned to our, our Vision 10, then you've, you've, you've done a good job. So, so for me, it's about understanding our people our colleagues, our patients, our carers, hearing their, hearing their voice and being responsive to it. And that's about understanding the value of partnership and, and co-collaboration. You can't have siloed conversations, you have to have shared conversations where people feel that they are contributing, but they're not just contributing in isolation of everyone else, they're actually con contributing to something that's going to change the way that we work together. And the culture piece is massive, actually, but we are getting there, we're improving the NCA is a very large organisation, but we are the NCA family. So we shouldn't be set aside or we shouldn't see ourselves as separate to um, that wider family just because we work in different places and different spaces. Um, what matters is what connects us.